In this problem, we're using a random number table again to simulate a, a probability event. In this case, this chart has been filled up with just random numbers between 1 and 100. And um, we have uh, a, a split them up into columns for free throws. So each trial is two free throws. There's a first and a second. And there's a basketball player named Keith. And Keith makes 43% of his free throws. So the first question is, give a range of values that be, can be used to represent Keith making a free throw. Well, 43% means we could go from 1 to 43. So all the numbers from 1 to 43 on this chart would represent a made free throw. And I'm just going to take a second to mark those made free throws. And we'll choose green for that. So that one's less than 44, that one, that one, that one. Uh, that one's made, that one's made, that one, that one, and that one. I think I got them all. So these are all numbers between 1 and 43. So those are free throws that, that Keith made. The next question is, use your answer from A to find the percentage of trials for which he missed both free throws. So we want trials in which both of these are missed. Well, trial 2, he missed both. Trial 4 missed both. Trial 8 missed both. And I think that's it. So that's 3 trials out of 10. So 3 out of 10. Or 30%. So that is a little bit of work with a random number table.